happens, the technical issue for the, uh, the, the new user. So what we try to cover in this section is the what is in Ash because as a new user, we are really curious what in Ash and what in Ash is good for and bad for, and can we do Ash with the uh, longitudinal analysis, and how about the sample and the employer response in Ash, and the weight in Ash, and whether Ash can be linked to other data sets or not. So the first point I want to say that in Ash. So as you know, some of may you know that Ash is the annual survey of our and earning data sets. And then it is 1% one percent sample of the employees in the PAYE system. And it is sampled in April every year. And the data is provided by the employer, so that is quite reliable. And you know that the Ash available from 2004 onward and it preceded successor is the new earning surveys that start from 1975 and as a new user when you come along the uh, the security lab from ONS so we may uh, counter with two versions of us so the first version is the standard ash that is the, the version that uh, traditionally provided by ONS for long and then the the, the, the new one is the one that the wet team are working on. They see the enhanced ash, uh, which is provide more information about the additional variable derived from the apps, the, the wet team, because the wet team may feel that it's uh, may be useful for you to use. And also some additional variable that extracted from the ONS archive. So what is Ash good for? So Ash is good for uh, doing uh, when doing the wage analysis because it provides a detailed and accurate, accurate information, also including the incentive pay and overtime pay as well. And also in terms of the uh, geography analysis because Ash is also have uh, the data information about home and work postcode. And uh, in terms of the job characteristic, you uh, ask also provide the data about the full time, part time, specific uh, number of hour occupation and apprenticeship variable. And in terms of the uh, business characteristic, we have kind of like the type of business characteristic industry, size, location, or even the collective agreement. So that us can be good to do the, the longitudinal analysis because as I, I introduced before, so we can link for the um, 45 years, uh, the real long period, and we can come up with uh, the, the, in a minute. But what it ask bad for, so Ash back for uh, because they have the limited personal characteristic. So they are really rich in terms of the, um, the occupation and the, the job characteristic, but they are limited in terms of the personal characters. They just know about the age and the gender, no ethnicity, no nationality or education or disability. So therefore, um, the Ash and census linkage is will help us to in uh, to make the ash itself become richer because it provide more about the background the personal characteristic so that's it the the web team is also doing it and it's also back for the in term of the in in um, for the non-worker because as you know ash is just sample for the employees only. So we cannot observe for those people who are not working or outside of the PAYE system. And after that, we don't have any information about the activity between the survey period because we still have some gap in the, between the, the, the survey period. So it may be uh, some, some gap for uh, tracking people in, in that period. So as I say that, uh, Ash is really good for longitudinal analysis because 
is the, the basic upsampling strategy, as is always sampled uh, by 1% of the needles, uh, so that it can be traced uh, along uh, the whole period, and it's able to track the individual work record for up to 45 years, so that it helps us to uh, study for the wage or job directions, also the structure change in industry or occupation. And if you want to do the, the gender wage gap, you can um, also add, uh, analyze about how the changing in terms of the compositions uh, contributing the wage gap over time as well. And but this also creates some potential concern when we do it in the longitudinal analysis because that we're aware that the rate of employee exit ash is three times higher than the rate of employment exit. And the employer non response is also um, a problem. And then the, the panel attrition seems non-random. Here is one the example how the attrition is happened in ash. So uh, you see that the table here. So I'll just take one example. So in the first slide, you see the 77.3% um, uh, is meant um, for those 70, uh, for those who are observed in 2004, and only for 77% uh, of those uh, observed in the next year, it's mean 2005, and then, and then, only 30, around 39% of those observed in 2004 observed in the in the, the next 15 years, I mean 2008. So the attrition uh, in ash, if you trace the person longitudinally, is quite low. And then how about the sample and the employer response in ash? So as we know that the sampling frame is uh, based on the HMRC record of employee who register for the PAY system. So owners have the list of the, um, the, the people with the NI number and then owners will write to employer at the address which is identified by the HMRC already and the employer will respond that um, um, to, to, to owners request. So the last employer can supply an ONS with the extract from the payroll system or some other employers. They may um, supply back by the paper or even electronic forms with uh, some fields already reviewed. And then at the end of the day, when we are uh, trying to uh, understand Ash deeply, we we found that like the attend sample is just around 0.76%, not quite 1% as, um, as in principle. So the response probability appear in us seem non-random. So therefore, uh, we try to incorporate some way to cover that uh, in, in the ash wet uh, project as well. So in the standard ASH um, data set, they already have two set of the weight already there. So the first one is the regular weight. So uh, some people may call that the standard ASH weight. And the other one is the low pay wage, which is used by the low pay commission to calculate the um, all the uh, low pay estimate. And as I say that because of the long uh, the the weight, uh, we also incorporate two other way to cooperate to uh, to avoid the, the problem of the employer non response and the attrition issue. So we will have another two weight here. The full uh, paper, the full methodology note will be uploaded later because we are still working on it and finalize it. So uh, please keep an eye on, on our website so you can see the, the methodology note about that. And then ASH is also able to link with other data sets. 
So, um, for example, ASH can be linked with the AD, uh, IDBR data sets. So from ASH 2004 onward, they, they can be linked with the IDBR because they have the IDBR reference in ASH. And then it also can be linked with ASH um, with census data. And then the wet projects already um, undergone the linkage ash with the the 2011 census and then it will be ready for the research accesses by spring next year and then the some also potential to link with uh, to link ash with the hmrc or even some benefit data from uh, dwp so the linkage can be done by the encrypted nino so it's still uh, not done yet, but it's may, uh, it can be. So that is the future. So we hopefully that the researcher can get the access maybe by autumn or, or winter next year. So, so, so all the information about uh, Ash for the new user. So we can uh, click on that link here. So let's come up with the. Um, the website, so let me show you. So here, so we already um, capture a, a quick start guide for the news user. So please have a look. And then by the end of that document, we also list out all the variable and some characteristic of the sample, which may be useful for you. And then I think uh, that's it for um, the cover for today. So thank you for listening. So any question or feedback? So we hope to get some more feedback so that we can make the user guides more friendly and more um, informative. So is there any uh, question from uh, you guys? Hi there. Um, yes. Just, just wondering, uh, I probably missed it, but did you say that the, um, the data set that was linked with the IDBR is available to use now? Um, or is that available in the future? Yeah, temporarily it's available to us now, but um, I think uh, it's not available uh, from uh, elsewhere yet. OK, So because fine. Yeah, so I think it will be due, uh, due soon, I think by spring next year. OK, thank you. Is there anything else? So if not, maybe I can get some feedback, please. So whether you feel that this section is useful um, or not, and then what you expect from the next training section. So if not, so I take the silence, you have no question. And I believe uh, that the next session is for the expert user. Is it right, Arusha? That's correct. It's going to be on the two weeks from now. I believe it's the 17th of December. <laughs> yeah, so, so if you are expert user of Ash, you may come along the next training section. And for the new users, as I say, that the quick start guide is already uploaded on our website. 
So please have a look and if you have any question or queries or uh, uh, feedback or comments, just come up uh, to the team. And the teams really appreciate your comment. Yes, we are open to all suggestions and we will also be placing this video online with the, the video from the first training session. So they'd be there for you to um, access in the future as well. So okay, if there are no if more questions, I think we can wrap up then. Yeah. All right, thanks everyone for coming along today and see you soon. All right, see you then. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks.